guys, I'm Jules, welcome back. Uh, it's a very big week. It is a couple of days before the uh, Needlework Expo 2022. That's a virtual online show for uh, designers and stores and all kinds of things. Public is not allowed, sorry guys. Um, if you see things that you like that are listed, like if you just, just go through and just like search for Needlework Expo, there's a lot of stores that have a, a lot of our stuff up on their stores now. You can pre-order. Um, see what's available and what's out there. I do not know why when I start to shoot a video like my voice is just it goes hoarse It's weird um, So I had somebody comment last week on if I was in jail because I've had for the last couple weeks my my display racks behind me kind of bare and and uh, So I, this is kind of to show sort of what's going on with that. Um, I'm in the middle of kind of putting all my stuff up uh, in a in a hopefully somewhat decorative way so that when I'm on the uh, expo and it's sort of like this, it's like gonna be a webcam situation that people can see my stuff right behind me that's stitched um, so they can see how good it looks, you know, when it's when it's up. So, um, cause it's one thing to look good on, you know, this, but it's another thing to look good when it's stitched. So, um, so I'm super excited. I am super excited. I've just been kind of going through today, making sure everything's working. We, it's Wednesday and the show is Saturday morning. So I think I've got everything ironed out. I just want to get the back area here done. And, and so, but uh, I'm excited. I've gotten some uh, some good interest so far and uh, people are excited. So if you guys have a store that you like to use and you want to get a physical pattern, you know, reach out to them, let them know. Uh, so just in case you guys don't know, so this is um, the French Bulldog. Uh, this little fella is uh, a monochrome piece. One, um, this one was stitched, I think it was one over one, uh, half tense, half stitch slash tense stitch. Man, my throat, I'm telling you guys, hold on. Oh, I do not know why that is. Maybe it's just when I start coughing for the day or whatever. But it's just kind of funny. <clears throat> anyway, so French Bulldog monochrome. Um, we got Wolf. Uh, I call him Wolf Sketch Monochrome up here. He's pretty cool. Got the Lioness. She's actually in grayscale. It's about 15 colors. Um, but you're just stitching her. The background is, is white. Here comes all the dogs because they hear me talking. They want to be part of the video. You're not going to be part of the video, dogs. Um, there's Lioness. This one is the, the purple flower. It's like a purple rose. Um, this is obviously not 100% finished for what it's going to be, but I just wanted to start getting some stuff up here. Okay, hold on. I got to get these dogs out of here. Okay, so uh, Purple Flower, um, and this is Sun Worship. Man, she looks good, doesn't she? She's like, pow, with the colors. It's really awesome. Um, over here is Knowledge Wisdom uh, piece, which... I was just told it was upside down. I gotta double check and figure out which side is right side up for this one. Um, and then uh, I've got down here, I've got the Empire State Workers, which no, I have not framed yet. And that's up on the schedule. Stuff doesn't have to get framed for this show. It just needs, I wanted to get it framed before uh, the Nashville market in um, March. So this fall I'll be working on that stuff. And then behind me we've got Eiffel Tower monochrome, uh, Eiffel Tower, or Empire State Workers is uh, monochrome. I mean, look, I'm just so happy with the way these monochrome patterns turn out. You know, they're just, it's just, it's just awesome. I love it. I, I, I'm a big fan. Not everybody likes just the black and white projects, but I'm obsessed. And uh, I'm finding more and more people are kind of getting obsessed at the same time. So um, I get it. They're fun. Um, they present a faster stitch. In some cases, I think an easier stitch, and they're very striking when they're done. And by no means do you have to do black thread on white fabric, as evidenced by. And I don't have Cowboy up because I don't have any backing done on his, uh, ah, get the, there, there, there we go. I don't have the Cowboy done. Um, I don't have the backing on the frame here, so I need to get that done. But I need my husband's help to get everything, every, the rest of everything hung because it's, uh, it's hard to do. Wait, what else I got? Hold on. Oh. oh, yeah, my sea turtle, my monochrome sea turtle. Um, this little fella, uh, again, is, uh, let me just, 
Let me see if I zoom. Isn't it cool? So just these stitches, and then when you pull back, it's this amazing photo. And I tell people all the time, when you're doing one of these patterns, as you start doing it, at first you're gonna be like, this doesn't look like anything. But once you get enough along that the, honestly, like it's like a 3D perspective, if you stand back from it, or the best sometimes is to take a picture of it to see what the camera sees, and you will be amazed at what you find um, with these. So I have a ton of these designs um, on stitchingjewels.com. Um, well, sorry, not stitchingjewels.com, that's the blog, stitchingjewelsdesign.com. Uh, that's the, the website store, I also have the Etsy store, but the, the best patterns are on stitchingjewelsdesign.com, so you can check that out. Um, for digital download only, if you want a physical pattern, you gotta go through a, a, a shop, you gotta go through a, a needlework store of some kind um, who can then place the order with me. Um, just trying to help those guys out as much as possible. Um, we need them and, uh, uh, and gotta keep them going. So anyway, um, so there's that. I've got more patterns and stuff, but I just don't have them all up yet. Um, and you can see the ones that I need to frame still. But uh, <clears throat> so there's that. Let me put these down. That's the thing I gotta do today is put the backings on this, these frames so I can hang them. Yeah, my throat. All right, next up. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I wanted to show you. So this is like, this is my Sisters in the Storm project. Ah, um, this is what the physical patterns look like. Come in this little plastic thing with a nice little cover. And then on the back is listed all the pertinent info that you might need. Um, it explains kind of what kind of pattern it is, full coverage, stitch counts there, um, how many colors are used. And on the side here, it actually lists Ah, sorry about that. Lists all the DMC colors and how many skeins you'll need. At the bottom, it talks about if you're stitching on 18 count, this is how many skeins you'll need for each color. So it's just, you know, sometimes when you're at the, um, you know, when you're at your needlework store and you see something you like, and you're like, oh, I want to go back. And then you go, ooh, I'm going to need some gonna need some floss too. You like to get your floss at the same time. And this is helpful to really tell you how much you need to get. So I like it. And then... Um, just some helpful ideas for like if you don't know in your head like how much um, fabric you might need or how big the pattern is going to be. Um, on the sides it talks about the fabric needed pattern only. The pattern only is, is like this big but um, the uh, other thing is is that if you anyway but you we all know or as some of us know the rest of us need to learn that that's just pattern only. You need at least a couple of inches on all sides around so you know, add four to six inches, um, both side and long, long, hop, width, height, sorry. Um, and then finally, I got the page layout right there for you. So it's also on the inside as well, but that's just to kind of show you sort of, again, like how many pages are in the pattern and sort of what it's, what it entails. So I usually like to, on my full coverage projects, go 50 or 60 stitches on a page wide. Um, it's just easiest to see. Anything above that, it just it get it gets it's a strain on the eyeballs. When I'm doing monochrome patterns, I'll do like 90 stitches across because it's it, it's just you, know, you don't need to look that close. You just you see the little dots. Um, so like this is cowboy. This is what cowboy looks in a pattern. You see the opposite side. Cowboy has a lot of pages, but understand again that you're not like there's no stitching there. There's barely any there. There's none there. This and so it's just you know, and you're only stitching the the black part. Um, pattern only fabric. What the stitch count is. Um, you're only using one color. Blah blah blah. And then the list of all your um, well. And then if you're interested in more, I just you know here's some more patterns that I have. I'd love to someday like have enough that I could have like a, a series. You know, like this is the American what's this is the Americana series, Americana monochrome series. You know, like I probably could do that right now. I don't need to add yet one more thing onto my plate right now. So but I retooled everything, I retooled the covers, I retooled the backs, I retooled the patterns from Nashville Market, and I changed my um, I changed almost everything. And I changed my packaging. And so I think it's a lot more professional now. I took a lot of um, advice I got when I was at the national market, and I hope I continue to get that. I hope I continue to get suggestions. Um, of course, you know, it's, 
and because I I'm an avid stitcher and I've been doing this for a long time but uh, you know it, it when you're on the design side of things sometimes you forget um, kind of what stitchers want what they need to see but uh, anyway because I feel like I'm a I'm a I love it I'm a stitcher and I'm making these patterns for stitchers so it should be very easy to read all right you've waited long enough to see my progress for the week um, so I jumped into sea turtle and sea turtle color I got a little bit more done I switched this up I went from doing it on um, I went from <laughs> I, I was doing it on 25 count but I was doing like um, full cross stitch like one over two or two over, I, I, one over one or two over one or something like that anyway it's getting way too crowded Karen the needle bug thank you so much Karen um, you you yeah, this is, I've decided to do this instead. Um, the color is going to really pop on this, but I've got about 1,500 stitches done, about 6, 7, 8% or so. Um, super happy with how the blues are coming out so far. And this is just, man, you know, the, you know, the sea turtle there. So, but um, that one is, uh, I do stitch with me on that one on Mondays. So uh, it's going good, going good. And then I did not start back up on library. I'm going to have it with me because I only have like, 300 stitches done on it. Can't tell what it is. So I was looking at um, another one that I have that I actually was a lot further along on, and I only have about I want to say I'm like 20 something percent on this one, with only about just under 12,000 stitches to go, and it's my um, giraffe selfie one. I don't know how much you can tell. This is a little ear I'm making the little eye over here. So next week you sh we should really be able to tell. Um, I mean, conceivably, if this is all I did, I could get this done in a week, but that just never happens. And so um, I got too much else, too much else going on because this week is uh, a little nuts. I hope that I'm going to be slam busy during and after Expo with orders and stuff. So you know, we'll see. All right, let me grab Old World Map Two because I keep forgetting to show you guys Old World. Ow! Old World Map 2! I just stepped on something. Oh, I need to get that off. Alright, hold on. See? See how much more I have to go? There we go. All the way over here. So, yeah. Too much. Too much to go. So, I am really just trying to and this is a um two over one full cross stitch this is going to be so heavy when it's done it's going to be ridiculously heavy anybody who's worried about like how their fabric is going to do you just keep messing with it i've had this fabric for like six seven years now so it's like a big gigantic ball of folded up stuff um Oh, yeah, and then lastly, I wanted to show you, I'm so close on the end of my, uh, my DMC um, 310 here, and uh, I promise on the next one, I'm going to start by writing in what project I'm working on when I do it, and then write the other projects in that, that take it, but I'm so close to being done with this, and when I do, I already got my next one. Oh. Let me get my head out of the way. Let me see how many. Look at that. So... This helped me a lot. I, I, I do uh, DMC 310. A lot of people will do Anchor or there's some other flosses that are out there now, but um, I just still use it. I think it's, you know, it's since it's like the by, by far the most common uh, to me as far as, uh, um, you know, the, what the everyday stitcher can use, um, I like to do those, those threads. And so if I start using really fancy threads, um, you know, for one, it's not going to show you, like, this is done with DMC. So if people think that DMC can't produce good quality, you know, cross-stitch patterns, it's, no, no, they, if they can, they can. So, um, oh, hold on a second. All right, now it's time to kind of throw out some things to you guys. If you're interested in seeing some of my other projects stitched, you're like, man, I really wish I could see that one stitched up or that one stitched up. Um, we're doing a whole, like, mutual channel, mutual floss tube 
um, exposure here in a sense. Um, I reached out uh, a few few weeks back and asked for some smaller uh, floss tubers to reach out to me if they wanted to stitch one of my patterns. Um, I got quite a few responses and um, some folks have already started. If I don't mention you and you have started my project, can you either shoot me a message on Instagram, just shoot me a message on Instagram. Speaking of which, I gotta check my Instagram messages. It's just, oh yeah, I have an Instagram, Stitching Jewels Design. Go figure. I'm so, so bad at checking Instagram. Oh. All right. All right, I'm gonna start off, sorry, I, I was still shooting the video, wasn't I? All right, I'm gonna start off um, with eCrafting in Colorado, who is gonna be starting really soon um, with the swinging girl, the one with the girl that you can see from the side. It's got a lot of blues and it's kind of a, a watercolory looking thing. Um, she's gonna be starting on the uh, swinging girl here very soon in the next week or two. So her channel link will be down below. All channel links will be down below. Um, blah, 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 blah. Hold on, let me get to my thing here. <clears throat> So, um, Winter Sleigh Ride is being done by Terry Lee Crafts, uh, again, links down below, and I can't wait for her. That's a, that's a bigger full coverage piece, um, but I think it's going to look amazing when she's, she gets further along in it. You can really kind of see the design starting to pop out. Um, uh, Nicola Simply a Stitcher is doing the Polar Bear and Cub, and she has been uh, getting a fair bit along there. Um, she's struggling a lot with the white um on the fabric i i could have taken the white you know maybe taken the white out and have like you could have put something else behind it but in the end i just felt like uh, i mean yeah it's a, it's a it's a pain in the butt with a lot of that white that you got to stitch but um at least for now i'm gonna leave it like so and we'll just kind of see but it wasn't it, it wouldn't have been a very manageable thing to remove all that white um because there's a lot of white in the project period so <clears throat> created by Karen is going to be doing the little girl feeding the horse. Uh, that one, I'm really interested in seeing how that one turns out. Cause, um, I have a friend of mine who I just recently, she's a big horse person and I showed that to her and she was like, oh, that, that. she really liked that. But that's one of the monochrome pieces. Um, Allie Juno's crafty corner, uh, is doing the wise owl. And that's just the owl with the, um, knowledge, knowledge and wisdom, a quote on it. So that is, uh, is going to be coming along here soon. Jen, the caffeinated crafter, has fallen in love with James Dean, um, the monochrome piece, which haven't really talked a lot about him. Um, it was something that I did way back in the beginning. And I think because just in general, um, maybe not a lot of people know James Dean. I mean, he, he an actor, famous actor, died when he was pretty young back in the was it in the late 50s guys early 60s or something like that it was the early 60s and um but uh handsome boy he was a young lad and uh but uh he uh anyway so i have a black and white so jen's working on that one so check that out uh casey stitches has been doing a lot of my stuff um has already finished the squirrel um and is working on both the sleeping cat and the haunted house so check that out um, Stitches of Sass is doing a Christmas piece, which I love. Um, Santa by the Door, which is a full coverage piece. Um, really interested in seeing what that one looks like. Um, you know, all stitched up as well. At least getting far enough along to really see how well the colors pop out. Um, I very much believe in all my patterns that they, they stitch exactly how they look and they're going to look amazing but I still just I love to see those. I love it when people, when they purchase a pattern, when they come back and post a picture later of it, of what it looks like. Um, that's, that's awesome. I love those things too. So, um, <clears throat> all right, I think I'm otherwise set. Now, there are a few more people that I know that have gotten patterns, but I don't know if you guys have started those of yet. Um, like I said, message me on Instagram if you have, and we'll get you on the list for next time. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, tonight, when the Hubs gets home, we're gonna probably work on trying to get the rest of this um, put back up here behind me um, and get some, get some frames ordered. Did I tell you guys about um, Matt Board and More? So Matt Board and More 
M-A-T-B-O-A-R-D and more, um, is a website where you can, uh, it's like I did like this one here, and, oh, it's also how I did Sea Turtle. So when you, um, I have no affiliation with these guys, but they're so easy to use. Hop on the website, pick your overall like project size. You can start with a frame size and it allows you to do a lot of different changing and measurements because you can put it in a frame that you think will fit, then use your mat and then put in your, your finished piece. In, and then it's like, well, how, what, how much needs to be exposed on here? So you can just measure the, the, the dimensions of what, so that it'll make sure that it does everything correctly. Does that make sense? Probably not. Probably not. Not always the best at explaining things. But when it comes, it's super fast and easy to get it done. And uh, so I'm so happy that I found those guys because it's been really, it's been a fraction of the cost of taking it to a professional um, framer. I mean, I'm, I can now do as good a job as any of those guys can. Psha! Sort of. Um, all right. All right. So uh, next time you see me, we'll have gone through the expo. And uh, I can tell you guys about that. And um, yeah, I've got some new designs. Gosh, I got some new designs. I'm not going to show you yet. I'm not going to show you yet. I've sent off a couple things to some stores. Um, and I'm just going to hold on to that for now. But I've got some new designs that are going to be coming out here soon. Uh, should be next week, honestly, after uh, Expo is done. But um, anyway, I guess I gotta go get something for my throat. <laughs> but um, all right, I'm getting itchy. All right, uh, I'll see you guys later. I know I'm weird. All right, take care. Be safe. Happy stitching.